Hello coin enthusiasts out there, it is IDAX Collects, and today what I have in front of me is Nickel Box number 9 here on YouTube. Almost at Nickel Box number 10 for YouTube, just one more box away and I'll be there. Let's see how this box favors for me. This Nickel Box here is my second one that I purchased on Wednesday, so let's get right into it. If you haven't seen my last nickel box video, I'll put the link right up here. So you can go ahead and watch that first before you watch nickel box number nine. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open here. All right, let's see what we got here. So from what I can tell, this one here looks pretty old. I'm going to go ahead, look through the bottom enders real quick. All right, I found a few bottom enders that look pretty good. Here's this one right here. We have a 1954 ender right here. And then there's this one. Look at that. We're going to have a Canadian nickel right here. In roll number 31. I think that's pretty much it for the enders. Let's go ahead and get started here. We'll go ahead and go through these first five rolls with you and get started right away. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh boy, this is a nice find here. It's a 1949 Minton in Denver. This will be an addition to my book. I did not have this before, and now I do. This is amazing. Let's see what else is out there. After going through the first five rolls, these are the finds that I have right here. I have a 1949 Denver here and a miscellaneous nickel right here. I don't know if someone actually did this or, or what, but I think I've only seen one other nickel that had these little spots on them. Don't know what they are, if they even are anything or not. I'll set it aside for now. And then this 1949 Denver nickel I just pulled on the fifth roll of the hunt. But other than that, that's all I have for finds. I'll go through the next 20 rolls here. And when I'm done with that, I'll give you guys a first half box recap. And obviously if I find anything beforehand, I will show you the find and tell you what roll number I found it in. So without further ado, let's get on with the hunt, see if we can find anything good. And with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, just finished up the first 25 rolls. Let's go ahead and do a first half box recap for nickel box number nine right now. So let's go ahead and set this aside. 
move the vines on up here. All right, here are the vines of the first half. Let's go over them real quick. I have two nickels from the 40s, five nickels from the 50s, one miscellaneous nickel, one tone nickel, and two 2009 nickels. Let's go ahead and go over them now. Managed to find two more 2009 Denver nickels. I found one of them in roll number nine. All right, next one here is this very toned nickel. Nineteen eighty one Denver. And this one here I'll call it a miscellaneous find. Nothing too crazy. It just somehow has these little spots. I don't know how they ended up there, but they did. It's a 1978 Philadelphia. And now let's go to the 50s. This one here is a 1959 Minton in Denver. Found this in roll number 12. Here's another 1959, also Minton in Denver. Here's a 1957 Minton in Denver. Found this in roll number 6. Here's another 1957 Minton in Denver. And the last one from the 50s. This one was the ender that I showed in the beginning. This 1954, Minton in Denver. I found this in roll number 24. Now let's go on to the 40s. Here's the 1949, Minton in Denver. Found this in the first five rolls. 1946, Minton in Philadelphia. I did check to make sure if this was a Henning nickel or not. You can definitely tell with the R on Pluribus. It is not gonna be the Henning nickel here. Found this in roll number 21. And these are the finds of the first half. Nothing spectacular as far as finds, but still have the one addition to my book, so it's already a win regardless. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start the second half, and we'll see if there's anything crazy inside one of the rolls. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, currently on roll number 31, I have found a four nickel. And it's one I showed previously when I was going through the enders. And I saw I'm going to find one of these in one of the enders. Here it is. It's a Canadian nickel. It's going to be a more modern Canadian nickel. I'm going to say this is from the year 2016. Let's go ahead, flip it over, and see what year it's from. 2009. Very nice. I don't think I have this one in my foreign coin collection, so this will be a nice addition to my foreign finds. Let's see what else is out there. All right, currently on roll number 44, and I found something very interesting. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. I just found one of these not too long ago. Take a look at this. Look, someone put a hole straight into the nickel here. It's from the year 1952. Minton in San Francisco. I'll call it a miscellaneous find right here. Let's see what else is out there. All right, very next roll. Roll number 45. I will have a nice find here. Set this over here for now. We will have something good in this roll. And I just looked at it, and it certainly is what I think it is. At the time I saw this, I was like, I've seen enough edges that look like this previously. Didn't think this was going to be a war nickel, but I was wrong. It actually is a war nickel from Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and take a look at the year. It's going to be a 1943 Philadelphia. Most common war nickel you can find in circulation, but it is a nice find nonetheless. This makes this box worth it 100% just from this alone. All right, just finished nickel box number nine. Let's go ahead and do a second half box recap right now. Let's set this aside, move the finds on down. All right, here they are, the finds of the second half. Let's go over them right now. I have five nickels from the 40s, including one more nickel. I have three nickels from the 1950s. One of them is a miscellaneous nickel and one Canadian nickel. So let's go ahead and go over the finds right now. All right, here's the modern design Canadian nickel. This was an Ender. 
one of the rolls. It's from the year 2009. Found this in roll number 31. Now it's going to the 50s. This one here is a 1958. It's in Denver. Found this in roll number 33. Next up here is a 1956. Minted in Denver. Found this in roll number 29. And last one from the 50s is this 1952. Minted in San Francisco. Found this in roll number 44. Whoever had this originally, I guess, wanted to keep this for a while. That's why they put a hole in it, so that they didn't have to be without it. I did find something similar to this in penny box number two, I believe, with this one here. 1987 Denver Penny. If you haven't checked out that Penny Box video, there'll be a link right up here so you can go ahead and watch that. But it's a pretty neat find. Now let's go on to the 40s. First up here is a 1948 Philadelphia. Found this in roll number 38. Next up here is a 1947 Minton in Philadelphia. Found this in roll number 28. Next up here is a 1941 Minton in Philadelphia. Found this in roll number 31. This one here is a 1940 Minton in Denver. Found this in roll number 27. And the last nickel that I'll show from the 40s is of course the war nickel right here. This will be a 1943 Minton in Philadelphia. Found this in roll number 45. And these are the finds of the second half. It was pretty lackluster until I found that war nickel right down to the end that really made this box worth it in the end. So I'm pretty happy to see that. And now, with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and bring down all the finds and give you guys a full box recap. So with that being said, let's get right into it. And here are all my finds of nickel box number nine. Let's go over them real quick. I have seven nickels from the 40s, seven nickel from the 50s, two miscellaneous nickels, including a 52, right here. Technically eight nickels from the 50s, a toned nickel here, two 2009s, and one Canadian nickel. So overall, it was a pretty interesting box. Got a bunch of these nice little finds here, which is great. Sayonara, box number nine. And now let's go ahead and get started putting these nickels in the books. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is obviously the number one book from the official Whitman coin folder here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I'll show you guys what we have so far. This is what it looks like right now. These dates are gonna be even harder to find here. I have pretty much found all of the nickels that are pretty easy to find but now it's like going to get increasingly harder to find the ones that I still need here. But I'm gonna keep trying, hopefully I can get them all. It might take me a lot of boxes to do so, but I'm gonna give it a shot. See how far I can get to my collection here. So let's go ahead and find some additions. So I know I'll have one addition for sure, and it's gonna be this nickel right here. It's gonna be this 1949 Denver. Let's go ahead and fill it in. And that's edition number one. I am already done with editions. We've only managed to find a 1949 Denver in this hunt to fill in the book. This 38S here, I actually did not find in a box of coins. I actually found this at my grocery store. You could go to the grocery stores and ask for change and they can basically exchange dollars for change. So in a coin roll hunting sense, I don't think I'm gonna count this 38S since it was never through coin roll hunting. But the rest of these, I think there's a few nickels here that I found too while I was there. But they're not like the most crazy nickels out there. They're probably the common ones that you normally see. But everything else, I have probably found corn roll hunting at this point, if I had to say. Let's go ahead and see if there's any upgrades. 47T. I'm going to say it is just barely. Just barely. Let's go ahead and... Take this old 47 out and put the new one in. There we go. That's an upgrade. Okay, 48 Philadelphia. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna have an upgrade for sure. No doubt about that. Let's go ahead and take this old 48 out. Put the new 48 in. That's upgrade number two. And that's it for this book here. I think what I'm gonna do from now on is I'll take this 38S out and I'll try and find it coin roll hunting because like I said, I'm not gonna count that because I found that at my local grocery store. So I wanna find it coin roll hunting if possible. I'm gonna give myself a nice little challenge here and see if I can find it through a box of coins. But I still will keep the 38S. I'll go ahead and show you real quick. 1938, San Francisco, you can see it right there. A beautiful piece of history right here. I think I'm gonna put this in a holder instead of putting it in the book. This is what the collection book number one looks like after nickel box number nine. So let me go over the edition. The 1949 Denver. I did take out the 38S with, for reasons alone. I'll circle the nickels in this book that are upgrades. That's gonna be it for this book. So let's go ahead and close it. All right, put this in a holder real quick. All right, there we go. It is now in my coin holder here. It's not in the worst condition for a 38S. I probably should have put it in this holder a long time ago. I'm gonna conclude this video with the 38S. If you guys stuck around till the end, I appreciate it. It's always nice going through boxes of coins with you guys, see what I can find. And with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting everyone, and have a good one.